Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening, too. How are you guys? How are you? Pretty good? Nelson, how are you? Nelson, can you hear me or no? Hello, Miss. Hello, how are you? Good. Yeah? And you? I'm good. I'm good. Not bad at all. Suleyma, hey. how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. You're good? Yes, I am fine. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um, okay. Um, all right. And how about Tatiana? How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you, how are you? I'm pretty good. Not bad at all. Okay. That's good. <laughs> okay, good, good. Um, all right. And let me see, Olga, how are you? Olga, how are you? Can you hear me? No? Maybe she can't. Okay. Hello, Nelson A. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes. All right. Um, all right. Let's, well, there's more people getting. Okay. So, guys. Um, how are you this today? How was your day? How was how was your work? Cuénteme, ¿cómo ha estado este día hoy? Difícil. Estuvo tranquilo. ¿Cómo? Was so busy. It was busy. Yes, uh -huh. and Sometimes a little relaxed. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Um. Okay. I I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> That's excellent. I'm glad that it was relaxing. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take attendance to begin with. Um, give me a moment. Okay, all right. So um, the, last, the last few hours of this month, right? So in a few hours, we start the fourth month of the year. Imagine the year is fine going by very quickly. Okay, so let's start, uh, Cristina. Is Cristina here? No? Okay. What about um, Annie? Annie, are you here? No, okay. What about Mari? Mari? Okay. Um, and Carolina? Carolina? No? Present teacher. Oh, there she is. Welcome, Carolina. Present. 
Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Hi, I am here. Good, good. How are you feeling? Okay, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Christy? Is Christy here? No, no Christy. Okay. What about uh, Jorge? Is Jorge here? No, right? Jorge is not here. Okay. What about uh, Karen? Is Karen here? No? Okay. And Cristina? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Karina. I'm sorry. <laughs> Karina? Present. Sorry, Karina. <laughs> Okay. Um, Leonardo? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Leonardo. Marlene? Marlene, is Marlene here? No, Marlene. Present teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Excellent. Uh, can you, is it possible to turn on the camera or not yet? Not yet, teacher. One no. minute, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miguel. Present, teacher. Okay. Welcome, Miguel. Thank you. And Nelson G. Present. Okay. Welcome, Nelson. And uh, Nelson A. Present, teacher. Welcome, Nelson. Uh, we missed you yesterday, but we're happy that you're here today. Thank you. Uh, Olga? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Norma versus Norma. Norma? No? No, Norma. And Olga? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Olga. Thank you. And Omar? Omar? No? Okay. What about um, Suleyma Rodriguez? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Suleyma Melgar? Suleyma Melgar? No? And Tatiana? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I haven't missed anybody. So I'm going to say the names of the people that I didn't hear. Cristina, Ani, Marisol, Carol, oh no, sorry, Carolina, yes, no, sorry. Cristi, Jorge. Present teacher. Oh, okay. All right, excellent. Karen. El, Norma, Omar, Suleyma Melgar. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I have everybody that is here. Okay, excellent. So guys and girls, um, welcome to today's class. Let's start with our presentation our PowerPoint presentation. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Actually, yeah. Okay, can you guys see my PowerPoint? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. No, you can, okay. All right, perfect. So it says here, focus group, oops, sorry. Focus groups conversation is our topic for today. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero and it's the intermediate to its class number 13. So we are exactly in the middle of our course. Okay, that's what it is. All right, so um, let's start. 
Let's practice. Work in small groups. Organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers' perception of the new product you designed in lesson one. Spe um, specify the steps, the type of sample suitable for the product. So the number of focus groups, so how many focus groups you're gonna have, the number of participants per group, so how many participants will be in each focus group, the location where we're gonna have the, um, we're gonna do the focus group, the type of test we're gonna do. Okay, so remember there are different types of tests. We saw seven different tests and the number of items in the questionnaire. Then you're gonna present your plans to the class. So remember this, remember what I've told you from the beginning of this course, we're gonna be having a group and we're gonna be working in this group for the whole course. This is one of those activities where we're gonna go back to the group and work on the product that we designed, right? Um, some of you guys had wine. Uh, some of you I think had cell phone. Well, there's different diff different ones that you guys had. So we're gonna go back to that, that, that um, focus, sorry, that um, group. And you're going to be designing a focus group study. How are you gonna do it? You're gonna be having to decide what the, the number, how many focus groups you're gonna have, the number of participants per group, the location where we're gonna have this test, what kind of a test it is, what is the type of test, and the, uh, the number of the questions we're going to have. Does that sound good? Do we understand what we have to do? Yes, no. Yes, no, I would like yeah. some input. Teacher, I, I just have a question. Okay. Uh, it say, is a new product you design in lesson one. Uh, I remember, for example, it was a Diana Snacks. No, it's not. This is the group that we've been talking about that you have to remember your group. Because product line. You're gonna be, I remember. I not remember the product my... line. No, no, no. This is ah, the okay. one which you do with the SWAT. Mm -hmm. Remember you did ah, okay. SWAT? Okay, con ese. The one that you said, you talked about like the FODA, right? The SWAT. Okay. Okay? Yes. That group. Okay. So it's clear what we're going to be doing. Teacher. Yes. This is a new product. No, this is the same product. No, it's an it's a new product for for this practice. No. It, ¿Se acuerdan ustedes que hicieron un grupo donde tenían que crear un nueva un nuevo producto? para lanzar al mercado. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. We're well, working with that group. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I was with Silvia, Omar, Leonardo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so do we understand what we're going to be doing? I, I, will show, I will tell you the people in your group in a moment. But what I'm, I'm, I'm interested is are the instructions clear? Uh, I was reading the number of of focus groups. Uh, just one, or can be two or no? More. We should have more than one. Oh, okay. The idea is to have different groups that you're going to be testing it with. Okay, we don't. It's if you just have one focus group that's not very representative. Okay, so you have to carry out the study with many different people. 
Does that make sense? No, yet, teacher. Could you repeat? That you can't have one, just one focus group, because if you have one focus group, that's not representative. Yeah, so you have to have many, many focus groups. Okay, does that make sense for you? Okay, yes, teacher. Teacher, sorry, many groups and the same product for yes. all groups. Um, okay. Do you, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if the problem is that. Do you understand what I what I mean by, by focus? Sorry. By. Do you understand what I'm talking about when I say. Uh, okay. Do you understand what I mean by focus groups? Yes, I understand. What is focus group? Let's let's. Let's remember that first. What is focus group? It's a group for discuss, discuss for a new product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teacher, yeah. Uh -huh. teacher. We, we talk about that product. I, I, I remember this, this group is in charge to collect the accurate results about no. the, about the no, problem. No, 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 not to collect, not to collect. They are, they are the, the, the group that is giving us the information to us. Oh, okay. Okay. But they collect information. No, ellos son los que un, lo, ellos son el grupo en que uno va a utilizar oh, para poder okay. hacer el, el, el estudio. Okay. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, we talk about the focus group is a, uh, uh, a lot of people, we, we, estamos tomando un número de personas grandes, luego lo hacemos en grupos pequeños, en sus grupos pequeños para hacer lo que, el número de focus group que vamos a tener, de 5 o 10 personas, por ejemplo, diez, unos tres, de 3 a 5 focus group de 10 personas. Un total de, estamos hablando de 50 personas o 100 personas, por ejemplo. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you want, you, you want to have five focus groups and each focus group will have 20 participants. And that means a total of 100. Right? Five focus groups, 20 participants per group, that's 100. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Hello? Yes or no? Hello? Chicos, necesito saber porque si me se quedan callados, no sé. ¿Qué significa eso? Teacher, I, I think I don't understand what we what we have to do. Okay. With uh, with the focus group. No, we're not doing anything with the focus group. We're deciding on the focus groups. Okay. So I'm go let, let's go let's go back to to square one okay let's go back to square one number one you're going to get into the small groups who is your small group the small group are the people that you worked with it with the activity with the swat remember you did a you made a product using the swat do you remember that yes teacher okay so that's the first thing. I'm going to put you into the small groups. That's step number one. Step number one, number two is we're going to be organizing the plan. Organize the plan. That's it. You're organizing. That's all you're doing. Just we're, the only thing we're doing is organizing. So we're going to decide, okay, we should do this. We should do that. That's it. What are we going to be um, organizing? 
we're going to be organizing the focus groups. How are we going to organize them? First, we need to know the number. So in, in other words, how many? How many focus groups? OK? You okay. have to decide how many. How many focus groups are we going to have? OK? So that's the first thing we're going to do. We have to decide if you're going to have how many? Two, three, four, five, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100? I don't know. How many focus groups are you going to have? OK? So okay. far, so good? Everything is okay in this up to this moment? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, good. Second thing you have to decide to organize the plan is is the number of participants. We decide the number. Yeah, you decide the number. And this number depends on the product or? No, you, you just decide. You, you decide. You, you are, you are the, 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 the boss. You decide okay. what you want to you, why you want to do it for 20. If you think, if you think, you know, as it, maybe for you, five is too small. You say, no, no, no that's so 20. 20 is a good number. Or you say, oh, no, 20 sure. is too much. Uh-huh. Yes. O sea que, eh, it's an extra structure or organization. You're or, organizing, yes. Or yes, you're organizing. Organizing. That's all you're doing here right now. Organizing. That's it. So solo. Organize. That's it. That's all I'm asking you to do. Organize. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Then you have to decide how many, after deciding how many focus groups, you're going to have to decide how many participants. So to give an example, let's say that the, you have, I don't know, you're going to make uh, five focus groups. Okay. You decide that you want to make five focus groups. Okay. So great. We make five focus groups. How many people are going to be in each fo in focus group? Well, uh, we're going to decide that we're going to make it 20. 20 participants in each focus group. So we're going to have 20 participants in, in group number one, 20 participants in group two, 20 participants in three, 20 participants in group four, and, five, and 20 participants in group five. In a total, there will be 100, right? Because five times 20 is 100. OK. Yes? So far, so good. good. Yes? Sounds good if okay. we can decide everything yeah okay so then we after we do that we're going to say where are we going to what is the location of the focus group where so that's what you're going to decide where are you going to have the focus group okay okay so all you're doing here is you are organizing that's it I'm not asking okay. you to do more. You just have to organize. Okay. okay. All right. Then we have to decide the type of test. Remember, there were seven types of tests. Remember that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so you're going to decide what kind of test is it going to be? Is it going to be a monadic test? Is it going to be a monadic sequential test? Is it going to be a blind test? Etc. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, just to make sure, I'm gonna ready here. Which of the seven tests will it be? That's what you have to ask yourself. Which of the seven tests will it be? How many times? We, we have to do the exercise. How much? How much How time? Much? And don't worry about the time right now. Um, what's important is that you understand the, 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 the instructions first, and then we'll talk about time. OK, so which of the seven tests will it be? Right, so that's the type of test. And then 
after that, we are going to decide, after we've done that, we're going to decide on the number of items in the questionnaire. So you're going to be asking, you're going to have a questionnaire for your, your, for your focus group. How many questions are you going to ask? Okay. okay. How many questions? Yeah, that's, that's basically you're going to ask how many questions. So are you going to have only, you know, five questions, 10 questions, 20, 50, 100, 200? Okay, how many questions? That's what you're going to be looking at. Okay. And when you've decided all of this, then you're ready. You're going to be presenting your plan to the class. That's that's the third step. Okay, teacher. Present the plan. One question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> when we are in the, the small groups, we yeah. can yeah. share the the screen with yeah. the partners. Uh, yeah, you you will be able to share a screen. Okay. Okay. Sounds good? Now it's clear? Yes. Anybody have yes. any questions? Yes, clear. Any questions? No teacher. No? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put you right now into groups. Um, Just give me a moment. Okay, back. If I'm not mistaken, díganme si se me equivoco y se me equivoco entonces me dicen. Okay, so in this this in this um group we have um. Carolina, Karina, Marlene, and Nelson G, right? Okay. ¿Estamos correcto? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. All right. Bye. Entonces, ya tengo la lista correcta. Just give me a moment while I create the groups. Sure. I think Karen, too, is with us. But yesterday, she... Yes. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Karen. Porque Karen, sí, es cierto, Karen no está en mi lista. Ok. Um, ok, so we have Carolina, Karina, Karen. Um, Karina, Karen, Nelson G. Ok, perfect. So we have four. No. I'm Marlene. Marlene, Marlene, Marlene. Marlene no está, ¿verdad? No, pero no está hoy. Okay. All right. So um, in group number two, if I'm not mistaken, I have Cristina, Jorge, Linda, and Nelson, and Nelson A. Yes. Good. In group number three, I had Christy, Miguel, Norma, Olga, and Suleima Melgar. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. In group number four, I have uh, Mari, Leonardo, Omar, Suleima Rodriguez and Tatiana. Okay, bye. Perfect. How long are you going to have? I don't think you need very much, like not like a lot, a lot. I will give you enough, but you, you, because you don't really have to do very much. You just have to decide on quantities and things like that. You have to discuss it. So how about if I give you about 
12 minutes? 15 minutes, it's okay. Go on 15 minutes. Okay, <laughs> Let, let's do something. I will give you 12 and then I'll come and check. If I see that you need more time, I'll give you more time. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's open the rooms. Tienen el, eh, la captura, no. Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Ahí entonces. Just uh, organize the focus group to ask the customer protection the new product to design in lesson one. It's by the step. Okay. Uh, uh, teacher, I have a question in the this uh, this specific the step the type of the sample suitable for the product. This is a, this is a, a step. No. No. No, the title of the sample suitable for the pro. Okay. Yeah, so what what is what is um what is the, the right um yeah uh, it's about the target sample the target sample the target sample and random sample. Oh, sorry. Yes, you're absolutely right about that. Yes, the type of sample is part of the, the things that you have to talk about. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, I think. I, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I, yeah, you're right. Okay. It's Would another you, uh, point. Another point, yes. Yes, you're right. I, I'll fix that because <laughs> it's not like that, but yes, it, it is part of, part of the... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's the first step. Yes, that's the first step. You're right. Okay. I. Uh, which product select? Uh, cell phone, right? Yes, uh, the cell phone. Uh, what kind of, or what time of sample? We will use. We use the run. In this case, we choose the random the the random sample for for the 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 for the product is is different to other because uh, the cell phone uh, is used for kids, uh, younger, and others. And, or a lot of people, like whatever people. Okay. I so, think. a random sample. In, in my opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. The number of the focus group with select, I think uh, maybe it could be six or five or, or, or 10 groups. And small groups of uh, four. Uh, five or, or five five focus group with 10 people yeah it could be oh 
or three focus group for uh, como dice Leonardo for kids one focus for for uh, young uh -huh, and focus group for adults uh, adults <laughs> mm -hmm. and because the steps uh, say the location que que en, eh, in a in en una en, en un centro de convenciones pudiera armarse una presentación del producto dirigido a cada uno de estos grupos usando el método de ¿Cuál era? Monadic. Teníamos elegido ya anteriormente. Ya es Monadic, ¿no? No, el, el otro, el de sí. Angle test. Left, sí. Katy, tienes apagado tu turn. <laughs> ya lo vi. El de side and hand, handling, ¿verdad? Ah, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Iba a estar hablando ahí todo el... <laughs> Bueno. Ok. Entonces, the number of focus groups... Maybe uh, I think it's three groups, three focus groups. Okay. Three focus groups and the, the number of participants for group, I think uh, maybe could be 10. Okay. In our country, it's okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, how many people we need for this? Plan. Okay, ya tenemos mission and vision. Mission and vision. Now, how many people we need? Mm. Next is in the location. Hmm? Next is in the location. The number, no. Is how many? Uh, okay, how many? How many? Um, I, Alexia. Vaya, entonces. Teacher, one question. I... Yeah. Uh, uh, we uh, we homework in sequence target simple, random, competitive in blazer. Sorry. I don't. Uh, the homework is uh, the sequence of targeted sample, random sample, competitive tree, and unblazer. What do you mean the homework? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Okay. No, 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 no. I, I am asking you. I don't understand. What, what do you mean by the homework? Uh, uh, we we comprehending uh, of my group uh, sequence first targeted sample second random sample three competitive three and four unblazer is sequence uh, for finish homework. <laughs> Is correct? I'm not, I'm not, not sure. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Ask me the question in Spanish. Uh, 
yo en lo personal le entiendo de que el, todos estos pasos debemos seguir la secuencia de la muestra del objetivo, lo que vimos ayer. Vamos a, a ocupar esos cuatro pasos o lo vamos a hacer eh, conforme consideremos. Lo que usted explicó, de location, de tip of step, de number no, no, item. Solo están recibiendo la información que está ahí. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Es que, which are is a a targeted sample and we, we write a mission and vision and then um, how many don't uh, okay so don't complicate yourself this this is the only thing you need to talk about these six things just a yeah okay Okay. Eso es todo. No tienen que hacer nada más. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Uh -huh. ¿Puedo pasar uno? Uh, Ella viene la misma. Hello. 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 What happened? Teacher. Uh -huh. We must do the test, the, the questionnaire. No, no, right. no, you just have to decide how many questions. Okay. You will in a moment, but not right now. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. No, 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 no. no. thank you. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces sería así, the number, the focus, the focus group five, the number, the participant per group, 12 participants, the location, holiday chain, okay. Tipo, the, tipo, the test, blind test, oh, the number, okay. Ahí estamos, entonces sería así, ¿verdad? como lo tenemos. Yeah. Ok. Eh, bueno, menos como cada, cada uno lo tenemos, aquí nos pregunta y vamos a responder a según lo tenemos. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Oh, sí, te la misa. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. So is it fair to say that you guys are finished? Yes. Finish. 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 Okay. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, Miss. In the meantime, you can continue practicing because I think the other groups are not finished. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to say or I agree with you yeah <laughs> would be more interesting but mm -hmm. okay I think it's, it's clear or not yes, yes. Uh, we have uh, uh, four focus groups with different quantity of person. Uh, number one, 15 person. Number two, 15 person. Number three, 25 person. And number four, 10 person. And the first group is located in Santa Tecla. The second yes. is located in San Salvador. Third is in Santa Ana. And fourth is in San Solano. And the test that we, well, they are going to 
utilizar como use. They are yes. going to use is a blind test. But I think in this case, we, we have to say, we decide this test. Yes, but they are going to use that test. Mm -hmm. So, yes. we decided. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the product is, is always the wine. The wine? Okay. Yes. Okay. Then you product. Uh -huh. New um, product. New product. Wine of something. Wine of one wine of wine of what of pineapple wine rose uh, black white white wine so it it can be something new to wine uh, of like a like a fruit or something fruit. Uh, wine of fruits depends because the grape is is a fruit it could be other fruits yes can be peach cranberries. Okay. Oh, I can see. The last one step is is a uh, present your plan to the class. We don't have it. I don't know. This presentation is our plan. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. We don't have to do anything else. <laughs> I think no. Okay. Just just to presentation to the other okay. partners. Okay. Uh, do you have some question about that? No, I think for me, I think it's very clear. Many clear. Uh, it's clear. It's está ordenado. Yeah, I, I have or, a question. Uh -huh. Okay, my inter is so bad when the teacher the, the explain the activity and I don't know understand what is. Uh, I don't know why or what? Focus group. What is focus group? Es focus group. Un um, grupo de personas que están allí 
En este caso, cada focus group está para hacer pruebas de este vino, digamos. Uh -huh. Todos ellos, los cuatro grupos que tenemos, están haciendo la prueba de este vino, de este nuevo producto. Un Ajá. focus group es como una muestra. Para son, decidir. Son grupos muestra que prueban los productos. Para probar el producto, ajá. Para decidir si está bien o le falta algo. O, no sé, tiene buen sabor, tiene buen olor, cosas así. Ese es el focus group. Y todos ellos están utilizando, por ejemplo, el, el tipo de, de test que están haciendo. Todos uh -huh. ellos están utilizando The Blind Test. Esa, ajá, esa, ese método, digamos. And why say number of item six? Number yeah. of it, items is uh, the people has to make a questionnaire. Like a, a, a list of questions. We have a list of questions. Six question, only six question. Yes, each or, person, or each person has to respond six question in this case. His opinion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Um, let me let me check working in smart groups organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers assess customers perception of the new product you design in lesson one Es, especify the steps, the type of samples suitable for the product, the number of the focus group, the number of participants per group, the location, the type of test, the number of items in the questionnaire, present your plan to the class. That's, that's all. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if the type of test has to has to has to be the, the same. Or, same for every group. Uh -huh. For it every could be, group. Could be different. Could be different, maybe. I'm not sure, but it's but possible. It's possible, I think. In this case, we decide to put the blind test. Do you remember what what is the definition of the, the, blind, the blind test? Okay, all right, we are finished. Are all the groups finished? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes.
Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So um, let's start then. Uh, we're going to be presenting. Uh, we will start with group number one, which is Carolina, Karen, Karina, and Nelson. Uh, I would really like it if you can um, all have opportunity of sharing something. So everybody should should uh, be able to share, say something about the information, okay? Not just one person, okay? So that's us start. Okay. okay, teacher, um, our product is wine grape and the number of focus group is five. I don't know what else is going to say something okay who's next number two uh, can i share my my presentation um uh, we i don't know who else of my group want to share oh, okay. we didn't finish i don't know <laughs> if only me or, or someone else yeah. somebody want to share something okay, going to everybody in the group is going to talk mm -hmm. okay Uh huh. I'm listening to you. Um. Uh, teacher. Mm hmm. Um. In um, group, in group, uh, whole groups. Uh, number one, the product why. Uh, the number of focus groups, uh, five. The number of participant group uh, is uh, uh, 10 participants. 20, see, 22 uh, participants. The location, Hotel Holiday Inn, uh, the type of test, blind test, uh, the number of Item in questionnaire, uh, these items mm -hmm. uh, or ten question. Finish. Okay. Remember, I want everybody in the group to to talk, not just one or two people in the group. Everybody needs to talk. Pero otra palabra quiero que si hay cuatro participantes en el grupo, cuatro personas me hablen. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so what about the other people? Who can, can you share something about it? Only that teacher. Maybe, but, but I want everybody, I only heard about two people. Que dimos toda la información. Mm -hmm. Ya dimos toda la información. Sí, pero no, escu pero no escuché a todos. Si sí, usted lo repetimos. Ok, sure. The, the number of focus groups, five. The number of participants per group, 12. Uh, the location, holiday in, the type of test, blind test, the number of events in the questionnaire, 10 events or question. Only that. Okay, um, are you going to do the, the, the focus groups the same day or are you going to have on different days the focus groups? No, Anderson. 
So you're going to be doing the focus groups in the Holiday Inn, you said, right? Yes. So are you going to do it the same day, all of the focus groups, or on different days? Ah, okay. Mm. Oh. No lo discutimos. No, but I think uh, could be two in one day and three in the other day. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Round of applause. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Group two um, is Cristina. Jorge, Linda, and Nelson A. But, acuérdense, quiero escucharlos a todos. No solo uno o dos. Okay, so. Okay, teacher. Just let me share the, the screen. Okay. Well, the screen. Well. Could you see my presentation? Yes, we can see your presentation. Well, this is the organization plan that we 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 do. The new product that we choose is the wine of peach. It's something different, and uh, we decide for groups with different quantity of person per group and different location. Uh, that is my participation to, to my partners continue with the presentation. Okay. Hello. Okay. The, ah, okay. The, how many the number, the focus group so the, uh, is fixing. The uh, number of participants for group is uh, Continue. Okay, uh, we decided to uh, use only one test, the blind test for every group for each group uh, because we think that blind test is one of the the better the the best is the best test for I don't know because the people uh, decided uh, they don't know the brand of the product so they focuses in the characteristic of the the wine in this case. Nelson. Okay, and finally the number of Eden we have the give out word is six. And this is all. Okay, teacher, just to, to finish the presentation, uh, maybe you can clear uh, clarify some 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 question that that we have uh, okay uh, the number of each focus group can be different mm, preferably it would be the same the same mm -hmm. okay um what else um the number, well, the, the location is in different parts of El Salvador. Maybe, I don't know if it, it could be in that distribution, in, 
distribuidos, distribu uh, ¿cómo se dice? Distribuido, así. Distributed. Distributed. Mm -hmm. And okay. the other question is the, the kind of test have to see or has to see or no, has to be the, the same test for each group. Yes, it has to be the same. Yes. Oh, okay. It has to be the same. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, teacher. All right. Is that it? That's it. Okay, very good. Right, applause. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now let's go on to group number three, which is Miguel, Olga, and Suleyma Melgar. Okay, good evening. Uh, the new product, chocolate cake, specificate the step, the type of sampling, sweet table for the products. Uh, number one, the number of group, focus group for group. Continuing. The number of participants per group. Ten participants. The location supermarket in shopping mall. Type of test, sign and handling test. This test is a good option when there are significant texture or visual elements of the product for consumers' experience. The number of. Pardon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Continuing, please. The number of item in the questionnaire, item in the questionnaire, and the personally promoting the product in supermarket and shopping malls. Okay, uh, for the focus group, in we we were in uh, one weekend in supermarket and other weekend in shopping malls. Finish, teacher. It's all. That's it. Okay, very good. Pause, excellent. Okay, and finally, the last group is Leonardo, eh, Soleima Rodriguez, and Tatiana. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Uh, wait. Okay. Uh, we, then our product is a cell phone, like the, the first lesson, we choose the product, and the, num uh, the number of a focus group, we choose three, three focus group, and one, one continue. Again, oh, me. Okay, yeah, I, I, I say that the number of participants uh, is uh, 45 participants, uh, uh, 15 for each group. And the location is going to be uh, at Intercontinental Hotel. Uh, this is going to be on Friday, uh, two groups. And after that, Saturday, Saturday 6, is going to be, is going to, to be the other group. Uh, the type of test is size and handling test. And the numbers of item in the questionnaire is 10 item. Okay. 
All right, bravo, excellent. Okay, just remember it's not items, but items. Okay, just remember that. Excellent, very good. Okay, so we have now presented that. Now, before we move on, we're going to take attendance. So, Christina? Christina? No? Um, Annie? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Mari? Mari? No, Mari. Uh, Carolina? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Christy? Christy? Jorge? Here I am, teacher. Okay. Karen? Present. Okay. Karina? Present. Leonardo? Present, teacher. Okay. Linda? Present, teacher. Marlene? Present, teacher. Uh, Miguel? Present. Okay. Nelson G? Present, Miss. Nelson A? Present, teacher. Good. Norma? Norma? Uh, Olga? Present. Okay. Omar? Present. Is Suleima Rodriguez? Present. Suleima Melgar? Present teacher. And Tatiana? Present. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, let's move on. Um, ah, Ana Cristina. No problem. Uh -huh. Present teacher. Uh-huh. Okay. Good. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Uh, we're going to move on. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Okay. So uh, let's talk about this questions here. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Anybody has that? Have you ever conducted a focus group? Not teacher, just organization. Just to organize it, okay. Never conducted it, okay. Yeah? All right, nobody here has ever conducted a focus group? No, teacher. No? Okay, all right. Why do you think it's important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? Why do you think it's important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? To know the person. The perception, the perception of the customers. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other ideas? Because we need say, we need buy the product and now the opinion of the participants mm -hmm. for this. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, anything else? No? Maybe the questionnaire is very important to to know things specific of the product that maybe you 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 have you have a doubt doubt 
Doubt. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Uh, all right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be reading the following excerpt. What is an excerpt? Do you understand what the excerpt is? This word here. Do you know what this word means? No, teacher. Excerpt. Excerpt. It's not accept, it's excerpt. Excerpt. No? Okay, an excerpt is from an article, from a magazine, or from a book. You take a piece, just a piece of that, of that information. Okay? So it's not the complete book, it's not the complete article, it's just a piece of it. Okay, that's an excerpt. Exactly. Uh huh. Exactly, but it's specifically from a article or a or a book. Okay, so you're not giving the complete information, just part of the information. Okay, so we're going to read the following excerpt about tips to design focus group questions. Now we're looking at what specific questions are we going to be asking. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to need seven volunteers. Who's gonna help me? Vamos, who's gonna help me to read? All you have to do is read. I can, teacher. Okay, Jorge, are you gonna read the first, the first um, sentence, let's say. Next. Number one, introduction. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna choose the people so it flows okay. nicely. Okay, who can read the introductions for me? Number one, I can. It, you're gonna read the, 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 the first part, the first sentence. I need somebody to help me with the introductions. Read the introduction, teacher. Uh, Guinness. Uh, Linda. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Who can read fun start questions or activities? Number two. Me, okay. Very good. Who's who's me? No veo quién. Olga. Ah, okay. Olga. Olga. Wonderful. Okay. Olga, you'll read number two. Who wants to read number three? Read Format. Me, okay. Um, quiero ver quién. Me? No veo quien me habla. Ah, Leonardo. Leonardo. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Leonardo. Who can read number four? Rating scales. Rating me, scales. Teacher. Uh, Carolina? Yes. yes. Okay, good. All right. Who can read uh, specificity? Specificity. Who wants to read that? Number five. Vamos, chicos. Solamente es leer. Eso es todo. Number five. Specificity. Come on, guys. Si no practican, no vamos a poder avanzar mucho. Así que tenemos que practicar. Okay, miss. Number five. All right. Thank you, Nelson. And uh, who wants to read number six? Closing. Me, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you, Suleyma. Oh, I see. All right, well, let's start, Jorge, with the first, the first sentence. Introductions. No, the, the, the before, before the introduction. Okay. Okay, you can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their uh, attention and get them to provide more honest and complete response. Number one, introductions. Hold on, wait, wait. The uh, introductions is somebody else. Thank you very much, Jorge. Who's okay. the introductions? Me, me, okay. me, teacher. Okay. Number one, introduction. Begin the ses ses session, session with a set of questions that will Enable focus group 
members to get to know each other, other better, e.g. their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus group, etc. Fun started question or activity. Okay. A fun question. Um, sorry, sorry, Olga, just give me a moment. Um, okay, so before we continue, so the introduction, that's just to make sure that everybody understands. Introduction questions, they don't have to be about the product. The introduction question are just to break the ice. Okay, you guys understand break the ice, right? Yeah? Break the ice? What is break the ice in Spanish? Break the ice. What does it mean, break the ice? Break. Yeah, break. Break the ice. It's the same in Spanish. Break the ice. Romper los ojos. Romper ice. Ice. Not eyes. Ice. Romper el hielo. Break the ice. Okay. So the first questions don't have to do anything with the product. Doesn't have to do anything with it. It's just for people to open up to feel nice with each other feel comfortable you can talk about favorite hobbies interests anything like that so it's just questions that the person will will get them to relax and then start opening it okay is that clear that's clear yeah wonderful okay let's go to the next one number two i see olga Okay, <clears throat> fun starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do, or do a team building game to get the groups creativity flowing. For example, ask them to think of their words, of three words to describe their favorite, favorite hobby. Thank you, Olga. So for this one, again, it doesn't have to do with the product. You can make questions just to get their creativity going, right? So you can just ask questions. Like the first the first questions would be like to break the ice. The second questions would be more about making them think and be creative, okay? Something that's fun. Yeah? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go with number three. Who has number three? Okay, format. When choosing a focus group question, be sure to include a mix of multiple multiple choice questions to provide a structure and direction and open-ended question to allow for further further exploration. Further? Further. Mm -hmm. exploration and discovery good thank you okay so we have to think about the format of the questions we can't just have open-ended questions why blah 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 how blah blah blah, blah. those are open-ended questions right that you have to give more information about right don't do just those kind of questions also do like a different variety give multiple choice questions a b c d for example Right. Um, make you know, yeah, questions where where the person can have different structures, or they don't get very bored with the same type of questions. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Number four. All right, good, yes, number four. Number four, four, rating scale, select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels at appropriate. Finish. Okay, approval. Uh, approval. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, exactly. Thank you very much. So we have a rating scale. Rating scales are saying like from one to five, from one to 10, from one to three, 
right? Those are rating scales, right? Like, uh, for example, number one is the best, right? Number 10 is the worst or the opposite. Number 10 is the best. Number one is the worst, right? Okay, so you have, you can choose the number, okay? So far, so good? Okay. Yeah? We understand the rating scales? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, okay. number five, specificity. Hello, number five, specific about by open and question that simply has be the word we has a negative meaning it may the responses being there finish and where was not good instead it has responded to provide some a specific example of what they like or did not like about the eating in question. Item, item in question. Item in question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very good. So avoid those questions where you're asking why, why? Because if you are asking right. why too much, people are going to think, oh my goodness, then maybe my first answer was not correct. If they continue asking me why. So it probably it's best to avoid those kind of questions that are vague and open-ended. So. Yeah, if you're gonna ask why, be very specific as to why you're asking the word why. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. All right, the last one, closing. Closing, thanks the participant for their help and ask if there anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Good. All right, improve, to improve, it means to get better. Okay, good. So at the very end, you want to have a closing question, something so that they, um, they provide as much information as they want or as little information as they want and how to improve the experience. So any like suggestions, let's say, okay? So do we understand what, what kind of questions you wanna ask for the focus group? Do we understand that or it's not, not clear? Uh, teacher, this, this, this is the, the main idea that the supervisor of, the, of each group of, or each focus group has to, to know. Oh, how no, no. these are the kind of questions you're going to make for yeah. the, the focus groups. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what kind of questions are we going to create for the focus group? So is that clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Good. Okay. So, so now that we understand that, we have understand what to do. Um, okay. Uh, just give me a moment. Okay. So now let's practice. We're gonna work in small groups again, the same groups that we were with before. You're gonna design a ten to twelve question questionnaire. Okay, so in other words, the questionnaire is going to have from anywhere from 10 to 12 questions to find out how the participants of a focus group perceive the product you've suggested in unit one. So then we're going to continue work with the same group. Remember to start with questions to make the participants interact with each other and reduce the anxiety. So first, you want to ask questions like they say to break the ice, right? Romper el hielo. Then you can also um, ask questions about to make uh, the, the, the participant be more creative and start thinking. And 
then ask questions about the specific characteristics of the product. Then you're going to share your questionnaire with the class. Are the instructions clear? I guess so. Yes. So now you're going to design the questionnaire. Okay. Hoy sí. Hoy sí vamos. Creo que había un grupo que estaba preguntando acerca de que se iban a tener que hacer los, las preguntas. No, en ese momento no, pero hoy sí. Now we're going to create the 10 to 12 question questionnaire. Okay. Teacher. Uh -huh. the, question, the question is about the presentation because my work. Eh, o sea, ya, ya decidieron cómo va a ser el focus group, ¿verdad? Sí, pero pusimos solo cinco preguntas, entonces aquí dice de 10 a 12. Exacto, entonces vamos a hacer de 10 a 12, porque es que si ustedes notan una pregunta es para romper el hielo, por lo menos, ¿verdad? Una pregunta, otra para empezar a, a, a hacer que la persona sea más como eh, más creativa. Y al final tenemos una pregunta de cómo mejorar. Entonces, ya ahí son tres preguntas. Entonces, si solo tenemos cinco preguntas, no nos quedan dos preguntas para hacer para el producto. Ok. Ok. So that's why they say 10 to 12 questions. Ok. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. No? Ok. All right. So, oh, sorry. Fine. Okay, then you're going to share a questionnaire with the class. So I'm going to put you back in the group. Hoy sí les voy a dar más tiempo. Porque uh, van a tener que crear preguntas. Entonces, ¿qué les voy a dar más tiempo? Es más, um, I'm going to give you till the end of the class. Okay? All right, so you're going to have the say until we finish the class. All right. Sounds good. Pero tiene todo y todos tienen que escribir las preguntas. No solo a su compañero escribiendo, todos tienen que escribirlo. Y le recalco esto. Le recalco esto porque um, acuérdense, bueno, le, uh, porque eh, después Ustedes van a necesitar esas preguntas porque las van a llevar a cabo. Van a llevar a cabo este focus group. Entonces, todos en el grupo tienen que saber cuáles son las preguntas que su grupo ha eh, creado. ¿Ok? ¿Do we understand? ¿Questions? Yes. Ok. Right, entonces, I open, I'm opening the groups right now. Eh, Ani, ¿en qué grupo está usted originalmente? ¿Con quiénes estaban? No remember, teacher. Con el, 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 el grupo de, del, del El 2, creo, no recuerdo. ¿Pero con quiénes estaba? Eh, en el que había usted dado inicialmente no, estaba eh, con Jorge y con. El último. Ajá, ah, digamos, el último. No se acuerda. Sinceramente no recuerdo, teacher. Ok, la voy, no. a, la voy a entonces a meter ahí con Jorge. Ok.
Hello. Hello, Miss. What happened? Why are we so quiet? Analysis. No, but we have to start start talking. Acuérdense, son, son 10 a 12 preguntas. Yes. Tienen menos de 20 minutos ya. Yes, Miss. Miss, um, first name is, uh, what's your name? How are you? Eh, no, what's your name is, no, es, no está rompiendo el hielo. Nadie, no, no vamos a romper el hielo con what's your name. Tiene que ser algo más, así como. Pero yeah. para iniciar una conversación, por lo general cuando se hacen entrevistas, eh, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se llama? Ajá. Eso, bueno. Pero es que en un formulario, si usted pregunta what's your name y la persona. O sea, ah, ok, ok. Un sistema no. de encuestas. Okay. Teacher, what is your cell phone model? Actually, sería correcta la, la primera pregunta, como para romper el hielo. Saber cuál modelo ocupa actualmente, si nosotros tenemos. Sí. Eh, Pero acuérdense que como es un focus group, um, queremos que los, los participantes interactúen entre ellos. Entonces, puede ser, pueden preguntar eso. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. pero queremos también que, que, que hablen un poco más, ¿verdad? Para que agarren confianza, porque si solo pregunta, what's, the, what's your, your cell phone model? Solo le van a decir, vaya, tal. Y ahí se acabó la plática. Lo que queremos es romper el hielo significa que vamos a hablar. ¿Está bien? Ok, teacher. Okay. What is your favorite tape, uh, cell phone? No sé. Mm -hmm, could be. At occasion, do you buy cake? Kate? Ah, podría ser otra. For what person? For what person? Dice. No. Play. For for what occasion? O sea, do you buy... ah occasion. Ajá, o sea, okay. como ocasiones o o celebraciones mm. ponemos. No sé. Uh -huh. eh, oca ocasiones mejor. Esta es como la number three, porque el number one es la like information. Dejamos el your name. O cuál, cuál, cuál No, perdón? el your name. El your name dijimos, dijimos que no, porque dijo ah, Miguel okay. que no. ¿Cuál, cuál entonces uh -huh. iría? What flower? La primera. What flavor cake do you buy for your family? Okay. Okay, number two. This is number one. Yes. So what flower? Flow. Ah, okay. o sea, okay. O sea, voy haciendo la presentación otra vez. <risa> ok. Eh, bueno, <risa> bueno, como usted la tiene ahí, pues. Ok. Bye. <risa> Vaya, está bien. Eh, Vaya. Donde, vamos por la number three. Number claro. three. Eh, pero este, la teacher decía de esta que dice aquí... ¿Cuál tiene como número uno? No, es que, es que yo solo entiendo. Ah, bueno, se la voy a poner acá como las he colocado. No sé si estoy mal. 
Así puedo presentarles. Hay estas. Ah. Pero es que había algo que había notado por aquí yo. Que la teacher decía. Why? For your family. What flavor cake do you buy for your family? Or oh, usually, do you, do you buy usually, no será? Do you, permítame, lo voy a verificar, no estoy segura. Es que no sé cómo decirlo en español, les digo. Pero es que nos falta la primera pregunta, que rompemos el hielo. Que hacemos que la gente se sienta atraída. Es que yo como para las encuestas, yo rapidito las corto, no digo que me diga bueno. Tío. Pero nos falta como algo que... Eso es lo que yo le dije. Ajá, ajá. O dejamos pero, el nombre. Pero, yo creo que el nombre es... Ya si le pregunta la edad, pues otra cosa. Pero el nombre creo que sí se puede. Es algo ficticio. No es, no es una... Voy a una ahí. Para romper el hielo. Ajá. Bye. Cuatro Focus. Perdón, focus group. ¿Cuáles son sus hobbies favoritos? They're your favorite hobbies and interests. How to participate in focus group before? Okay. Uh, How many of, of you? <laughs> How many of you about participated? Make, make a question about hobbies. Uh, make make okay. a question about hobbies. Which is your favorite hobby? Okay. Your uh, Favorite. I'm, I'm not sure if right. Okay. Hobby. Hobby. Which is your favorite? Favorite. No. Favorite. I think it's okay that the other. With I, Latin I. Yes. Favorite hobby. Hobbies. B B I E S. I think. Without. A. Uh -huh. Hobbies. Without. J. Without I. Without. Hobby. Is with with I no no yeah hobbies hobbies B B I I E S I think <laughs> I'm not sure uh -huh. which is your favorite oh, yes. hobby? or hobby what which is your favorite hobby without S which is which is your 
favorite hobby. Okay. Ah, pero como es, eh, si es en singular, es con la, es guay, ¿verdad? Ya no me acuerdo. Guay. Which, no, no, why? No, es, which is your favorite hobby? Porque es singular, ¿verdad? It's why. The second option. I think it's which. Which is your favorite hobby? Uh, yeah. Maybe when we finish, we can. Yes, we can uh, check. We, we can check the the, the question. The words. And make some change if 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 possible. Okay, sir. Okay, the number the number three. Uh, in, in number three, I think we we can the people think about something like if if you if you know if you want to know some country which which. ¿Cuál sería? Let me write the idea. If you, if you can, if you. If you, if you can. Travel, travel, or. If you, if you can, if you. If you could, if you no, if you, you can, if, if you can, no, if you go. ¿Qué quiere decir? Si usted compra. Si podrías viajar a un país, ¿cuál escogerías? If you could. If you could. If you could travel. Travel. Good. Travel. Travel. Some country. Some if country. Which? C O U. I see. You could travel some country. Which is the name? Travel. Which? Which, which will be which will be what will be which will be in the future, which will be which will 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 if you call Cold. It means you. Uh -huh. yeah. If you call travel some country, which will be? Which, which, will, which, be. which will be? No. Will be? Uh, ¿Cuál sería? No, pero without would. Which, which will be? Uh -huh. Which will be? If you could travel some country, which will be? Okay, number four. Uh, Creo 
creo que ya rompimos el hielo, ¿verdad? Es posible. Es More or less. Ok. Focus in the, in the wine. Now. Right now. Uh, question started. One start question or activity. Ask a, ask a fun question. <laughs> Pregunta. A fun question, okay. Pregunta divertida. Yes. Building. Or. About, como about hacer the, una uh, dog. Ah, como also. hacer un juego. Like that. Which is the, the activity that me that that said in the ask them to think as three words describe root e product e uh -huh. Y ahí, igual que el anterior, tendremos que poner. Uh, ¿Cómo es? Abierta. Ex excelente, bueno. Ah, o ajá. excelente. Sí, excelente, bueno, pues, malo, ah, de una sola vez. Uh -huh, sí. Excelente. Ok. Uh, excelente. Número 3. Número 4. Excelente, excelente. Good. Good. Mal. Mal. Malo, malísimo. Sí. Ah. Ah. El, el cuadrito. Va. Y aquí hacemos esto acá. Ok. Number four. Ya hablamos de imagen, hablamos de sabor. Precio. Eso iba a decir. Pero, bueno, sí, en una presentación tendremos que hablar de precio. De prisa. De price. Price. ¿Qué forma podemos preguntar el precio? Eh. Ah. What do you... No, 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 no. Aquí podemos usar las de sample question. How... No sé si se pronuncia así. Likely are you to push us this product? How likely are you to push it? No, sí, puede ser. ¿Ah? Ajá, puede no. ser esta pregunta. Sí. No. Ah, no, ¿verdad? Ah, ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué es? ¿Cómo no? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué tan probable es que lo pueda pensar? ¿O no? Uh -huh. oh, what do you ¿Te parece, ¿Te parece ajá, accesible el precio accesible, del producto? Ajá, por eso, lo, pero lo que pasa es que creo que no podríamos poner precios, hablar de precios porque no le vamos a decir precios, solo estamos presentando el producto en sí. Okay. Bueno, no, no, por eso es que okay. no vamos a hablar de precios. Pero tal vez, porque ahí le dice que tan, que tan, según Google dice que tan probable. Ajá, eso sí. Es que compre el producto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eso sí, eso sí. Es la de How likely are you to purchase this product? O para cambiarla, podríamos poner: ¿Volverías a comprar este producto? Okay. No, porque nunca lo he comprado. Si es un lanzamiento y es primera vez, uh -huh. ah, ok. Entonces, en este caso, eh, podría tal, ser: ¿Te gustaría adquirir el producto? ¿Comprarías tú ese producto? Ajá. O con, ajá, también sí porque ya te, es, es que sí. lo que pasa es que ya tenemos dos preguntas de opción múltiple entonces la dos preguntas de opción múltiple o sea, y yo diría que mejor una de yes no en sí o sea ya, entonces, sí o no ajá, podemos dejar ajá. esta para más adelante pero sí podría existir ok verdad uh -huh. Ok, entonces son como las, prácticamente las últimas que vamos a preguntar. Okay. ¿Hay probabilidades de que compres este producto o algo así? ¿Sí o no? Pero creo que, 
Pero lo que pasa es que esas sí tendrían que ir ya porque creo que al final tenemos que hablar de cosas específicas del producto y después las preguntas de cierre. Entonces creo que sí ya deberíamos usar esas. Listo. Ajá. Pero entonces sería... Malín, Malín, ¿Qué? no, 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 no está ahí Malín. Chispas. Que creo que había dicho que estaba en yes. una reunión. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. uh, entonces sería uh -huh. estas. Pero, sí. ¿Comprarías este producto? ¿O Yo compraría puse este comprarías producto? tú el producto. Nuestro sería porque estamos hablando de el producto de acá. El producto. Uh -huh. Ajá, o, o pongamos de un solo esa que dice aquí. How sí, likely are la you probabilidad de comprar. Uh -huh. Ok, copiémosla entonces idéntica. Entonces, how like you? Are you? Uh -huh. uh, Poor choice. Poor choice. Oye. This product. This product. Mm. Ahí sí sería la yes or no. Only. No. Creo que sí tendremos que dar opciones porque dice que tan probable, ¿verdad? Tan probable. Ah, no, 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 no. Yes or no. Solo yes why? or no. No, no, un momento. Yes or no, why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por, ¿Por qué? Ajá. Ah, que porque el sabor, porque le gustó la presentación. Okay, did you finish? Did no, you finish teacher. everybody? No, teacher. No? No. Okay, it's okay. I, I, I was almost sure that you hadn't. So it's okay. We're going to continue working with this tomorrow. So no worries. If you're not finished, it's okay. 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 We're going to continue it tomorrow, so that's fine. The important thing is that you are advancing, right? We, we, we probably have the majority of the questions now, which is great. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to finish off. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to finish off um, with the um, attendance, okay, and uh, Just to remind you, today is Nelson Gavarete's turn. Okay, so Nelson Jean, this year, today is your one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, so open up your microphone and as quickly as possible so we can do this quickly. Uh, Cristina? Um, okay, uh, Ani? Present teacher. Uh, Mari? Carolina. Present. Christy. Um, Jorge. Present teacher. Ka Karen. Present. Karina. Present. Leonardo. Present teacher. Linda. Linda. Marlene. Present. Uh, Nelson G. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Miguel? Present. Nelson G? Present. Nelson A? Present teacher. Norma? Norma? Olga? Present teacher. Omar? Present. Suleyma Rodriguez? Present. Eh, Suleyma Melgar? Present teacher. 
Tatiana. Present. Okay, muy bien. Bye, chicos. Entonces, um, that would be all. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Eh, acuérdense, sigan practicando en la plataforma para que no lo tengamos que hacer toda última hora. ¿Verdad? Ya empiecen ya con sus midterms para que tengamos ya suficiente chance de, lo, de terminarlo para el lunes. ¿Ok? okay. So that's it, guys. See you, okay. guys. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, hello Nelson. Hello, Miss. How are you? Good. Good? All right. Excellent. Hey, excellent. Very, very good. Okay. Um in que le puedo ayudar? Bueno, realmente, Miss, yo creo que sí le comprendo, bueno, no comprendo al 100%, ¿verdad? Realmente soy bastante poco para el inglés, pero sí sé que tengo que trabajar mucho en eso, en verbos, en eh, pronunciación. Lo que me cuesta a mí realmente es, este, es eh, quizás entiendo más lectura que escucharlo. ¿Verdad? Ok, ok. Sí, me cuesta comprender. De ahí yo sé que ya sería, bueno, en lo que son estas plataformas y todo esto, estudio, ¿verdad? Realmente, como le vuelvo a mencionar, que has, entiendo más estar leyendo que estar escuchando, ¿verdad? Entonces al escuchar sí me cuesta un poco, pero yo creo que aquí yo tendría que ir mejorando mi forma de escuchar, pues, para aprender los sonidos, porque muchas veces eso es lo que me cuesta comprender, ¿verdad? Comprender sí. la, sí, correcto. la pronunciación. Ajá. A veces sí, correcto, um, los sonidos. Sí. Acuérdense que en inglés es diferente que en español, que las vocales se, se pronuncian de forma diferente. ¿Verdad? Eso sí es cierto. Ajá. Entonces hay que um, acordar para sí, que, creo que. Um, para que no nos estemos como fijando demasiado como es ah, 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 sí, entonces se pronuncia esta esta, eh, esta esta esa vocal verdad porque no realmente en inglés no, te, no hay una sola pronunciación para las vocales As, tiene que um, sonido diferente exacto tiene sí que... la cosa es como le digo sería de, de practicar bastante pues la verdad que se me ha hablado bastante porque como me había quedado bastante tiempo fuera de estos módulos no me había podido, no, en mi empresa hubo un error, se ah. le estaban mandando los mensajes a, a mi propia jefa, a la, a la propia dueña de la empresa, y ella no se fija en estas cosas, uh -huh. y como cambió de personal, ahí me costó otra vez para que me volvieran a meter, porque bueno, aún todavía los correos creo que se van a, a según lo que estaban mandando, este ahora me mandaron uno para la nueva inscripción, uh -huh. y vi que venía copiado a mi jefa, y ella no, entonces tuve que tomarle una captura y mandárselo a la nueva persona que me está escribiendo. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, que, a veces, por eso ajá. me quedé como dos módulos. Sí, entiendo, entiendo, eso pasa. Um, eh, sí, bueno, uh, bueno, independiente de eso, eh, es bueno que también practique um, con cosas reales. Eh, Se pone usted a ver, por ejemplo, eh, no sé, películas o series en inglés. No sé cuánto, cuánto, cuánto oportunidad tiene usted de hacer eso. Sí, tengo oportunidad. Lo que no tengo es casi mucho es tiempo, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que me hace. Ok. Ah, pero sí, es la oportunidad sí la tengo, ¿verdad? Okay. Porque sí tengo como poder ver, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh... ¿Cómo se transporta usted para el trabajo? Motorcycle, moto. Ok. Eh, ¿Tiene audífonos? Que, sí. Ajá, ajá, para, para, digamos, para auriculares, digamos, donde... Auriculares, ah, sí. Uh -huh. O manos libres, como le llaman. Ajá, exacto. ¿Podría usted utilizar eso como para 
mientras que va eh, de camino. De camino puede estar escuchando, por ejemplo, un podcast, por decirle algo. ¿Cree que okay. sería posible hacer algo así? Sí, claro. Ok. O el tiempo también de almuerzo también. Uh -huh. Eso, aprovechar esos momentos. Uh -huh. Sí, por supuesto. Ajá. Eh, entonces, a veces no es tanto que tenemos que invertir tanto tiempo, sino que simplemente saber cómo invertir el tiempo que ya tenemos. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. eh, a veces, por ejemplo, um, no sé, se, no se nos va el tiempo en cosas insignificantes y podríamos sí. utilizarlo mejor para otras cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, por ejemplo, claro. ¿cuántas veces no vamos a, al banco? o a, um, a, a, a pasar consulta y tenemos que hacer colas y esperar. Sí. Entonces, La verdad que sí. Ahí, bueno, los bancos los visito casi a diario, los visito yo. Ah, vaya, ya está. Entonces, podríamos entonces ocupar ese tiempo para hacer algo productivo. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. digamos, en el banco, pues, pues sí, no, ahí está esperando. A veces se nos hace como una hora. Ahí está, oh. no está haciendo nada. Entonces podríamos utilizar es, ese tiempo mejor. ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Utilizarlo de diferente forma. Uh, le voy a mandar también, voy a mandar otra vez el, al grupo um, un enlace para que ustedes puedan practicar también eh, la parte auditiva. Para que ustedes puedan hacer el listening. ¿Verdad? Y okay. uh, como conversaciones, mini conversaciones. Y ustedes entonces pueden... Um, Ir escuchando. Ir escuchando para ver si, si lo captaron. Y hay como, son como, como mini pruebas, digamos. Ah, qué bien. Uh -huh. Yo lo que tengo también a veces juego, bueno, ya tengo ratitos de no jugar realmente, es un duolingo. Ajá, uh -huh. correcto. Y aún, y aún ahí a veces, bueno, este, cuando es de pronunciar, a veces no me agarra, no, no me entiende. Intenta de hablar y hablar y no me entiende. Uh, a mí me funciona eh, hablando un poco más, más despacio. A veces cuando no me agarra, lo hago más despacio. Ah, ver, ok. Se lo, se lo agarra. Ah, puede ser que, que, no, es que no, esté, no es que no lo esté pronunciando bien, sino que tal vez no lo esté articulando bien. Ah. A veces por eso es que no lo agarra. Entonces mejor hágalo más despacio y después hace ah, sí, y pum, lo agarra. Eso es lo que a veces. Sí, hago. porque eso sí, eso sí lo, lo, lo juego. Cuando me queda tiempo, le dedico ahí su rato. Ajá, está bueno, excelente. Ah, no, bueno, ya perdí la racha. <ríe> me ha ayudado, realmente me ha ayudado bastante, porque créanme que yo desde el 98 que no estudio, mm. hace bastante. Sí, estoy sí, hablando no. ya de. Pero, pero nunca es tarde. Nunca, nunca, la nunca. Es que tarde. No. Uh -huh. Y estas clases creo que me, me, me han gustado, me gustan y me han ayudado bastante, pues. Uh -huh. Ok, qué bien, qué bien. Sí, sí y Cabal es, es, es bueno. Y también, uh, también con, con Duolingo, lo bueno es de que le tiene uh, como, lo está haciendo que usted compita, ¿verdad? Siempre está como, va ah, sí, a, 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 a una competencia y le está recordando, mire, no, no, no pierda su... su a, su racha. Su racha, ¿verdad? Y así está. Sí. Y, entonces uno está como que, ¿verdad? Bien pendiente de eso. Eso es algo sí. bueno. Sí, hay cuentos también. Eso ayudan bastante los cuentos. Ajá, hay cuentos y todo. O sea, sí, hay, hay muchas sí. cosas que, que, que son. Como tú, Bolingo, hay también hay otros, otras uh, aplicaciones que podría eh, ver, ¿verdad? Si le, le pueden ayudar. Sí. Uh -huh. Así sí, que. Porque, bueno, realmente me gusta el inglés. Excelente, excelente, muy bien. Sí, sí y, y cuando a uno le gusta algo, está más motivado y hay mucho más probabilidades que uno vaya a, a terminar de, de aprender lo que está aprendiendo. Ok, sí. ¿Va? Excelente. ¿Hay alguna otra cosa en la que yo le pueda ayudar? Realmente no, mi... Verdad, realmente creo que aquí solo sería, como le digo, verdad, que yo comience a, a escuchar más conversaciones, pues la verdad, para irme metiendo más, pues verdad, realmente, porque sí hay, bueno, a veces preguntar 
me cuesta pues o, o definir lo que quiero decir pues uh -huh. yo siento que es práctica pues la verdad no puedo decir mire porque veo bien a veces me quedo viendo lo que es este to, todo el manual verdad yo digo no me sé aquí se, me entiendo más o menos qué es lo que me quiere decir el manual pues o qué es lo que vamos a hacer verdad pero sí, créame, así escuchando a veces, bueno, a usted me cuesta, me cuesta entender y me quedo, Dios mío, ¿y qué? qué? Y, y lo mismo cuando pregunto porque no hay cómo preguntar, esa es la otra. No, pero siempre pregunte, siempre pregunte. Dígame, I don't understand. Así es sencillo. Ah, ok. Ok, y ya veremos cómo le podemos ayudar. ¿Verdad? Pero sí, no, no se quede con la duda. <risa> No sé si sí, tiene razón, porque es de, es de ir viendo, ¿verdad? Como, porque así como le, a veces quizás le com, comprendo la escritura, a veces comprendo bastante mal, comprendo un mi, ¿qué? Un mi, puedo decir un mi 15% quizás de, de la no, mayoría de las palabras, ¿verdad? No, yo sé que, que entiende mucho más. ¿Verdad? Y ahí con eso y me voy. Excelente. Pero sí... Está bien, excelente. Okay. Excelente. Bueno, eh, si hay alguna otra pregunta o alguna inquietud que también quiera preguntar después, eh, la última semana de la, del, del curso eh, está abierto esa semana para, o sea, la, no está nadie programado para, para esa semana. Así que usted puede pedir, ¿verdad? Que tenga otra sesión uno a uno. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Ok, gracias. Vaya, saben, es un gusto eh, pues Igual, saludarme y cualquier cosita que estamos a la orden. Solo eh, póngame un mensajito en ya sea el WhatsApp del el grupo o privado y ahí le, le, le ayudamos, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Ok, vaya, pues entonces cuídese, pase buenas noches. Gracias, buenas noches, bendiciones. Gracias, igual. Gracias.